Episode 2. Just did episode 1 like 10 seconds ago. But we're moving on to episode 2. If you didn't watch episode 1, I recommend you watch like the last like 5 minutes because that's when I always summarize what the hell just happened. <laughs> For real. Anyways, let's just get into it in 3, 2, 1. Go. So, in the last episode, in case you missed it, why why wouldn't you watch episode 1 if you're looking at episode 2? Because, uh, you're chaotic like that. Um, there's these two guys, Seisaki and Fumio, and they're detectives, and they look into a case about the elections, and it turns out Fumio fucking killed himself. That's all you get. That's a summary. Now we're getting a flashback. He did, wait, he didn't answer the question. <laughs> That's all. That mug is a whole mood. Keep calm and serve justice. This is where your justice ends, Renama Mia. It's a Persona 5 reference. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's absolute bullshit, for real. Him killing himself. Way too sketchy. Plus, how did they even find... How, how did they found out... Or find out, whatever the fuck... Like, where he lives and stuff. Like, they didn't even really look at him. Hell yeah. He's your new best friend. Well, not new. And then it's like this badass ending theme song. Hell yeah, interrogation time. <laughs> Just and good. What the hell? That sounds fake as fuck. Is this your real name? Yes. <laughs> Fumio took the agras. Damn, now that's some background music right there, even though I can't really play it. Bro, how many, 
whatever. It's it's politics. And they did him dirty. And it was only episode one that they pulled it. Usually the trigger is pulled around episode two or three. What the hell is happening here? Oh, is this the whole prostitution thing? Man, you know this girl's full of shit, but she knows she can get away with it. I'm a woman. Uh huh. Yeah. Get disheveled. He's a really nice guy. Ah. Mm. Intimidation tactics. Man, uh, did air, did air, did air, did air, fuck. <laughs> I keep bringing it up every episode, but still, it's always bothersome. so blurry oh because she's not looking at him in the eye can she go through a table
Here's the air conditioner. A golf course. Bruh, it's so far. Yeah, to prove a point. Where's that bebop music going? Do 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 This is when the action starts picking up. Man, what if someone else die at the end of the episode? I'll be mad. This journalist guy's gonna freaking get caught. Wow, he looks so good in that outfit. <laughs> These transitions are cool as shit. It's like a swipe and there's like the next scene. He's just going to approach. Oh, he pulled out Fumio's thing. These psychedelic trip, like transition things for the midpoint of the episodes are. Whack! But they're cool. They're not whack in a bad way, but... Eh, the quality is all vhs -y. Oh no, I don't want to look at that. That's that's gross. I want to see no old people gangbang. I mean, not duh. Look how much you're stacking, pal. But with old dudes, though, like, are they really. Yeah. Oh, she's doing the dick motion. Hell no. Why would you? But they're old. Yeah, tell her. No one's in a old dick. Unless you are into that. I'm not shaming, but that's just yeah. Yeah. <laughs> disgusting. Yeah, gold digger. 
It's not even gold digging, like. What the fuck? Ugh. <laughs> Made me mad and sick at the same time. Disgusting. So, like, is this sh show basically, like, Seizaki's redemption for Fumio? I feel like that's where it's going. Like, f fuck the Agra's drug situation. You gotta find out the bitches who killed Fumio. Fuck, it's already... Th it's three in the morning! Because they're already dead. Hell no, she's trying to smash. Hell no, this bitch is on that supernatural tip. That's a shit ass proposition. Oh. <laughs> How big is your dig? <laughs> I feel like it's a contraception. That's like having like t fucking five partners or some shit. Man, that's fucked. So, a chaotic good and a chaotic, like, evil try and get together? Oh, you can't do that. This bitch is on a whole nother mental level. She's like a robot or some freaky shit. Hmm. The fucking prosecutor's not the prosecutor, the computer guy's fucking 
Okay, I thought he was dead. She escaped. Oh, there's more. Okay, I thought <laughs> I thought that was the end of the episode. Oh, it's in front of the council. Who the hell? Oh, it's the main bad guy. This guy's gonna get it. Okay, I like how one of the voice actors is question marked. That's an interesting thing, but... I feel like the main thing we got out of this episode was... This... Big titty chick, like... <laughs> That's a horrible way to put it, but you can't argue with truth. Was, like, using these old people, and in turn, uh, they used her? I don't, I don't fucking know. This ending thumps, ending thumb, ending theme song sounds awesome as shit. Love and Let Die by QMH, whatever the fuck. Yeah, so there are no next episode previews, but... <sighs> All I got out of that was the freaking dick thing. She was like, eh, rubbing up on the dill and stuff. Fucking, eh. Why is it so fucking? Why is it so fucking big? <laughs> Regardless, uh, I got to do one more episode. Actually, I got to do two more episodes. Fuck. Oh goddamn. Uh, whatever. <laughs> like I said, like, comment, subscribe. On to the next goddamn. Ah, uh, these shows should not. Release bulk episodes because it fucking sucks. But whatever, I'll deal with it. <laughs>